that is either on Wi-Fi or on your 3G connection and then head over to general and then tap on about to check whether to check your current version in this case it's 6.0.0.2 now after that all you need to do is tap on software update section wherein you will be prompted that a new update has been available for your device that is iOS 6.1 which as you can see that on your screen right now the size of this update is 107 MB and this update contains improvements and bug fixes which includes LTE support for more carriers for which uh, a whole list can be found at apple.com slash iphone slash LTE apart from that this also punches in the purchase movie tickets to Fandango with Siri feature which is actually only available for US apart from that there is another thing like iTunes match which has a capability to download individual songs from iCloud this feature, uh, this feature too has been included in this update and last but not the least a new button to reset the advertising identifier for your iPhone so now to get started all you need to do is to tap on download and install option after which a brief terms and conditions will be shown above here just in case if you want then you can probably read the same or you can just tap on agree now it will give you a prompt wherein to save battery connect your iphone to the power while downloading the firmware or do you want to download or update the firmware later continuing without the power you can tap on continue Ensure that your device is set for the minimum of 80 to 90 percent of the battery life because while updating the firmware, the device may experience higher drainage of battery than in the normal session. So, as you can see, that now 11 minutes is remaining for applying the update. You can also update your device by connecting your device to the computer with the help of Apple iTunes wherein you will not be requiring any of the data, you will not be incurring any of the data charges for your device as I assume that your laptop will be connected to the LAN or, or the uh, Wi-Fi. So as you can see that even now it's preparing for an update. So depending upon your internet speed, the update's gonna take its own sweet time. So just in case if you're having a high speed connection of preferably say 10 MPS or more, it won't even take a minute for update applying this update. But just in case if you're on lower internet speeds, it's gonna take a corresponding amount of time for applying this update. So from here probably it should take around 2-3 to three minutes more for applying the update because the update is already downloaded so here it is guys the 6.1 iOS update has already been up downloaded and now it's verifying the update the verification of the update will take around 30 to 45 seconds of time as it will be calculating the free space available on your device along with few other parameters so as to ensure that the whole process of applying this update ends up on a smoother note so now the device has been rebooted so that the update can be applied as you see on your screen right now that the downloaded update is now in the process of applying being applied as even this process is gonna take around a minute or two 
depending upon the free space and other parameters and also the applications which are being installed in my device please note that alternatively you can also download this update and apply the same by connecting your device to the iTunes which is the PC based software so guys finally the process of applying the update is almost over as you can see that the progress bar has come to an end and probably now the device should restart on its own and show up the Apple home screen so let's wait for the same So guys, again, there is some process which is started. So here it is guys, at iOS 6. And the update has been completed successfully. That's what the prompt says at all. Connect your Wi Fi. You'll probably skip this step. The Apple ID sign in. Let's start using iPhone and check out what are the new features, what are the noticeable features which are there. Let's check out whether the update has been successfully happened or not. To check the same, I go to general, then tap on software update. So here it is. The iPhone 5 is updated to iOS 6.1. That is a quick tutorial on how you can update your Apple iPhone 5 with the latest iOS 6.1 OS.